Hey beautiful people, this is Tanya. I'm coming to you with yet another quick and simple dessert. Because you know, we're all about our lives being easy. So all I'm doing is taking some pie filling that we had canned. And this is the blueberry mango. So Sandra doesn't really like this, so I figured I'd experiment with this. So I'm using the blueberry mango. I'm using two jars of this. And I'm using some uh, the Great Value Biscuits because, again, like I tell you all the time, all the kitchen is is a chemistry lab. Mix stuff together. If you like it, it'll go together. I'm telling you. So but anyway, this is going to be quick and easy. So I'm just going to cut these biscuits up, and then I'm going to mix, the blue, uh, mix it in with the um, blueberry mango filling. Put it in a nine, I'm sorry, an eight by eight um, bowl. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This. And put it in the oven at 350 degrees and cook it according to the um, biscuits direction because the pie filling is done. So you're just warming it through. So what you're doing is cooking the biscuit. Anyway, I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like before I put it in the oven. And I'll also show you what it looks like after but hold tight okay right now what i'm doing is cutting the biscuits up um into small pieces you don't have to do this if you don't want to but i want the uh, pot filling to cover everything so i'm cutting it up but like i said if you don't want to you don't have to and you use as much biscuits or as many biscuits as you like. This is an eight pack. So if you want to use all eight, you can. If you don't want to use all eight, you don't have to. It's your kitchen. You do what you want to do. That's what that's about. Your kitchen, you the boss. And recipes are just a suggestion. Okay, Sound you don't like it when I said it, but it's true. Because I went online and I found several recipes. And they were asking for too much. They were doing too much. They were doing way too much. I said, it's not that serious. In other words, you were too lazy to do what they were doing. No, they were wanting too much. They were wanting too much. She you know I cook a dessert from scratch. That's not a problem. But sometimes they just want they want it too much. They just want it too much. That's all I can come up with. And ain't nobody trying to live that life. It's starting to get hot in the kitchen. Ain't nobody trying to spend time in here. And if you're trying to take something uh, to a gathering, you want something quick and easy to throw together, this is going to be quick and easy, especially if you have canned pie filling. But even if you um, if you don't, you can go to the store and buy some can, uh, pie filling. Put that on there. Make your life simple. It ain't that crucial. Trust me, if you cook it, somebody's going to eat it. Somebody will eat it. And think it's the best thing ever. Sorry about the jar scraping, y'all. But you got to get the feeling out. I know, right? I'm 
Oh, well, that one is. <laughs> like I said, I'm using two jars because we found one jar. It's just not enough. But if you like more bread than you do, fill it. Then one jar might be enough for you. It's a personal preference thing. I don't think this one had any mangoes in it. Well, you know, after a while, the uh, mango take up the color of the blueberry. So you can't tell until you actually, you got to pay close attention to it. Oh, okay. It ain't that crucial. Because you don't have to mix it up. Just so you know. But I like for everything to be coated. Again, a personal preference. You don't have to do that. If you want to just put your, um, your filling in the, um, in the cooking element and then put the biscuit on top, you can. Because it, uh, it will rise up over that. Just so you know. But that's not what I'm trying to do. I want everybody to taste something. And like I said, we're not looking for perfection. We're just trying to get it on here. Don't sweat the small stuff. It's not that crucial. You can spend your life worried about something else. Because this ain't it. And I did spray this. This bacon dish, by the way. I can see the mango now. And I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And per the cooking instructions on this, it should be cooking for 13 to 16 minutes to golden brown. We'll see. Like I said, we playing this by ear. Let me pick it up so you can see it. See? It's just kind of pretty. But anyway, we're going to put this in the oven uh, at 350. And we're going to start out with 16, um, 16 minutes. And we'll see where we go from there. But I'll let you know what the final time was when it's actually done. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, I'm back. So here's my um, concoction. Like I said, for lack of a better term, I let this cook for approximately 31 minutes in a 350 degree oven. And uh, basically I let it cook until I saw the biscuits were getting a little brown. That's where I went to with that. And I might sprinkle a little uh, powdered sugar on it or some ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, good with everything. I told you. But anyway, um, if you're looking for to, some way to make a quick and simple dessert, this is it. And like I said, if you have biscuits at home and you have, it only has to be um, pie filling. But if you have some canned fruit that you can maybe add some sugar to and a little cornstarch so that it can thicken up a little bit. There you go. And just put you some biscuits or some crescent rolls on top of it. Or if you have the stuff to make a crumble, because we did do a uh, crumble as well, you can do that. And this would be good if you added some nuts to it, I think. So if you want to add some nuts to this, it will be good also. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave a legacy. Y'all have a great day. Bye.